Gather around, children, and let me tell you the tragic tale of the Spanish romantic painter Francisco de Goya and his descent into darkness. Goya began his career in 1799 as a young, successful court painter, during which he built a respectable reputation serving Spanish royals. He was first known for his use of bright, lively colors and royal portraits, but his style would change rapidly after Goya left his position to become an outspoken social commentator on Spanish high society and politics. He ended his career in the Villa of the Deaf One, where he decorated the walls with a series of 14 works which would come to be called the Black Paintings. These works were not commissioned, but instead a private series of which Goya left no explanation or name. After Goya's death and their recovery, art historians would dub them the black paintings after their haunting figures, drab colors, and dark themes of greed, decay, consumption, human conflict, and demonic or cultish religious scenes present in the works. The most well-known black painting, Saturn devouring his son, <laughs> shares these dark themes through its violent depictions of the Greek mythos, Goya uses a dark color palette, chaotic action lines, heavy impasto, and grotesque expressions with bulging eyes to create a dynamic scene of horrific visceral emotion. The limp, bloody body of the partly eaten child gripped by Saturn's hands amplifies the fear and sickening tone and reveals the darkness of humanity's gluttony and greed for power. So what exactly inspired the black paintings? Well, art historians draw the connection to Goya's dark history, which was filled with illness and war. Cygnus earlier in his life brought him near death's door twice and left him with permanent severe hearing loss. This caused him to fear further illness and insanity as he aged, possibly inspiring works centering decay and violence. Goya also lived through the Napoleonic Wars, during which France invaded Spain in 1808. The great emotional strife it caused him is apparent in his earlier work and there's nothing to be done from his series The Disasters of War which protests French occupation by displaying its brutality in a gory, dark etching reminiscent of the black paintings. In the end, historians can only guess at his intentions, as we will never know the full truth without Goya's explanation of his last creations. Regardless, the black paintings' expressive darkness and violent emotion sparked great mystery and debate in the art world, acting as a historical glimpse into the minds and emotions of the 19th century, which would go on to inspire future generations of artists.